Hello and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, I just want to teach you a certain technique that you can use to create, you know, certain details on your model elements. Now, if I just zoom in on this section, maybe after creating such a section and maybe if you want to create certain details like the eaves detail, maybe you may also want to create this detail here. You can use the callout and what will just appear are just model elements. You are not going to see the detailing as you can see from here. You have to create it from scratch. But to reduce on time, on detailing time, you can use some drafting views which you can always save as standard details. If that's what you do in your office, you can create them as standard details. And each time you are creating such a project, for example, maybe obviously on each and every architecture project you want to create maybe an if detail, you can just, you know, uh, reference that particular detail as long as you have saved it on a template. Now, if you want to know on how to create you know such standard details please check the card above there or maybe at the end of this video i'm going to link it there you can see how you can create such standard details as drafting views and save them on your project now let me show you what we want to do in this lesson all right and before i forget if there's anyone who would like maybe to have this model as you can see from here I'm going to link it in the description there. There are more than 20 architectural buildings, fully details, which you can easily get. So please make sure that you link, check the links there. And most importantly, don't forget to check my website, skillmaxcard.com. All right, so what I'll do, I'll simply activate, you know, this section by double clicking there. It's as good as also going to the section right there. Maybe let me just open this one so that it's easy to work with. Now, I'm just going to delete this one. I don't need it so that I can explain for you. So maybe, of course, after finishing the detailing, as you can see from here, maybe now you want to start, you know, creating such particular details like this one so that you add more details. Obviously, what you need to do is to just go to view. Just click there. Then we see that we have a call out there. You can use a sketch. You can just pick a rectangle. And you can just click the first point above there, drag it like that, and click the second point. All right, then this callout can be selected, and you can hold your left mouse and drag it to any location. All right, now this callout that I've added, I can always find it here, down here under the, okay, under the drafting views here. Where are the callouts? Let me open it first. By double clicking the head here, double click quickly, then it should open. So it's called section A, A callout. So you can see that actually it appears under the sections as you can see from here. Now, once you open it, you see that you don't have those 2D details. So obviously, you have to clean it up and now start adding the details so that it looks exactly the way you want it to be. So you can use this approach. I close this one and delete this one. From there, you can also do the same on the eaves there by just zooming in there, going to view, click there, then rectangle, and you can click the first point, and you just cover, you know, what you want to be included within the detail. Then double click the head, or you can go to the sections there, see that it's right there, double click, you open it, and you see that you can start working from this one. So. The goodness with this one is that you have the framework, you have the 3D elements that you can start working with. And maybe what you don't want, you can just start hiding so that those things that you don't want to be part of the model, hide in view by elements, don't delete because if they are model elements, then you have a problem. If you want to hide this one also, you can right click and hide in view by elements. You can change your scale from there, maybe 1 to 25, and you can continue now adding your details. If you want to use this approach, you can proceed. But now the fastest way is to just use drafting. Uh, uh, we call them drafting views. So I'll select on this one and delete from there. Click on yes. So these drafting views, you can create them and save them you know, on your computer or on your template. All right. So that each time you want to create a similar okay a similar detail of course you have to create a number of them for example for such kind of footings in the middle of the building you need one particular standard detail for this one you need another particular standard details 
maybe for the slab thickening i'll show you who we'll create you can create one standard details for the eaves for the apex and all sorts of details which in your view you think are standard you can always create them as drafting views and just reuse them over and over on your projects so i'll demonstrate on the on this particular footing and on the eaves on what i'm trying to talk about here now on this template i have these standard views that i have here I have the spoon drain, I have the slab thickening, and all these details that you are seeing here, which if I just open this particular template, I'll always find them and I can just reference them. So what you need to do after you finish detailing, you just need to zoom in here. For example, I want to now uh, reference this one. Just go to view, then click on call out. Once you click on call out, you'll be presented with this one, reference other view. All right, so you just click on it and then expand it there and you see that all those drafting views will appear here all right in this particular case i know it's this detail that i want to reference and now when you just now pick that point maybe i just want to show it up to that point i'll select this one and drag it up to here all right i'll double click it or i can open it from there so i'll double click it you see that now it's opening that particular detail and this is the detail that i have so each time i go to this section i open this one it takes me to this particular detail and it's as simple as that now from here you can even name it if you want all right you can name it from there all right let me go let me go back to my sheet i click there you see that the detail is right there all right you can rename it from there if you want now let's look at this detail you can clean it up if you want all right maybe okay what can i change i think everything looks good if there are certain things that you want to add you can if it looks cluttered you can clean it up and just try to move your you know your details if that's what you want you can always do that we have this one here let me just drag some of these here so that we can align it properly and i'll show you the tool that you can use to align so i'll select all these you can do this one within your drafting view so that you don't have to be you know aligning it like this once you open that particular you know detail so i'll just drag it there this one is okay now if you want to align these things you can just select like that there is this new tool here multiple align i can pick that particular one align left you can see that all these are aligned as you can see from here all right so if i want also to maybe to detail the other part which is this one the ifs detail i can do the same just zoom in there just go to view click on call out reference other view I think it's supposed to be detail D. Let me just check it out. I'll click the first point and the second point. I'll select this uh, the call out and just move it this side. Double click it and let's see what we have here. You can see that this is the detail that we have there. If this is the one that you want, you can always change to the other one if you want. Okay, so there are so many other details that you can pick. If this is the one representing maybe your roof or styles you can always do that with this simple technique you can always you know reference all sorts of details maybe let me also demonstrate on the slab thickening again you can go to view call out uh, rectangle i'll click there and i just want to call out uh, reference that one and now maybe it's just a slab thickening here i can select on it select open it quickly or i can move it and you see that i have my slab thickening actually i think it doesn't represent what i wanted to show here okay sometimes maybe you just have a wall you don't have the actual foundation but i think you get the point you have a wall which sits on the slab there and you want to show that slab thickening you don't have the foundation so this is the approach that you can use and when you open it 
you are going to see it like that so you don't have to be creating these details you know in each and every project you are going to waste a lot of time if you feel these are standard details you can create them as drafting views and you can easily reference them just using this process that i've shown so thank you very much for watching don't forget to check the link where i have more than 20 uh, architectural buildings fully detailed houses which you can use to edit or do all sorts of things and use them on your projects